Loosen the two lock nuts, then remove the side cover, guide bar, saw chain, and chain sheath. Loosen the six screws on the top cover, then remove the cover. Loosen the two screws that secure the handle. Loosen the four screws that secure the bottom cover, then remove the cover. Loosen the two screws that secure the handle, then remove the handle. Loosen the screw that secures the protecting cover plate, then remove it. Remove the E-ring. Remove the baffle piece and the chain wheel. Loosen the five screws on the brake cover plate, then remove it. Push the brake handle to the brake position, then pull the end of the spring up. Then remove the brake disc, the pin, and the brake assembly. Remove the brake handle. Loosen the 11 screws on the housing, then remove it. Loosen the three screws that secure the fan baffle, then remove it. Disconnect the terminal that connects the motor to the PCBA. The motor mounting screws have glue on the threads. It is recommended to use a manual screwdriver instead of a power driver to avoid stripping the screw head. Remove the motor and place the oil kettle aside. Install a new motor in the housing. Place the wires into the traps. Connect the terminal and place the oil kettle in the pocket as shown. Tighten the screws to fix the fan baffle. Cover the housing. Tighten the 11 screws to fix the housing. Use three new screws with the blue patch to fix the motor. Hook the torsion spring onto the brake handle. Assemble the brake handle, then hook the torsion spring onto the screw pillar. Place the brake assembly on the pin. Assemble the fixing pin and the fixed unit well on the steel ring. Refer to the top left picture. Assemble the brake disc, the felt ring, the chain wheel, the baffle piece, and the E-ring. Keep pressing the fixed unit until pushing the tension spring into the notch completely. Place the brake cover and tighten five screws to fix it. Tighten the screw to fix the protecting cover plate. Tighten the screw to fix the brake handle. Insert the screws into the sleeves and tighten the screws to secure the handle. Tighten the two screws to secure the handle. Tighten the four screws to secure the bottom cover. Put the top cover in place and tighten the screws to secure it. Turn the chain tensioning bolt clockwise or counterclockwise to adjust chain tension. Place the side cover and pre-tighten the nuts manually. Adjust the chain tensioning bolt clockwise to tighten the chain properly. Please refer to the operations manual for instructions about adjusting the chain tension. Tighten the nuts.